Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're back here with the 4K on Walmart 4K streaming box. This is a new hottest streaming device out right now on the market. If you check out your Walmart, it's probably sold out possibly. And let me tell you why it's sold out. All right, so this is why it's sold out. It is only 1988, so about just shy of $20 on the market right now. And it's a 4K device, a streaming box, and it's by far the cheapest 4K streaming device that you can get right now on the market. And, and if you take a look at this interface, it's got Android 12, it's got Google TV on it, it's got everything that you could possibly ask for it, and it's got limited adverts unlike the Amazon Fire TVs. It's definitely a competitor in the streaming world, and especially when we do a side-by-side -side comparison with the 4K Google TV streaming box versus the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, which is $34.99, and that's the same spec. So if you take a look here, the Fire TV Stick 4K Max has some serious competition because it's coming in at $35 and that device only offers 8 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM. And what does the Google TV, the 4K on streaming box offer? The same thing, 8 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM. So that's huge competition. Same thing with the CPU. They offer a quad core CPU and the Fire Stick also offers a quad core CPU. And also, if you're not aware, this 4K on device does look a lot similar to the previous device that it did offer, which was the 2021 version. So if we take a look here, this is the 2021 model, and then there is a 2023 model. So I got the 2023 model, which is the $20 device that's out right now. They look similar, but the only difference is the previous model was Ultra HD, which is UHD, and then the new model will say 4K streaming box. And then also, if we go ahead and confirm that in the settings using the remote, just click the settings button on the remote, click the settings wheel, and you can come in here and go down to system, go over to about, go over to the right, and the device name will be 4K streaming box, and also the model will say 4k streaming box so that's how you know which model you have and then of course you can check the version to see what type of device you have that way as well also one huge thing that is happening with the google tv at the moment is they're releasing the biggest update as far as for the live tab they're adding to their os so the google tv os model is taking the live tab and taking 300 free channels and turning it into 800 free channels. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I'm hovered over the live TV section and I go down to the left, you'll see that all of these channels are being delivered by Pluto TV. And if I just continue to hold my down arrow and just hold it down, you'll see that all these channels are being pushed by Pluto TV. If you check the top left hand corner, it doesn't change to any logo except for Pluto TV. I didn't know Pluto TV had this many free channels, but apparently it's 300 channels. And if I just go to 9to5google.com, Google TV is now rolling out its built-in free channels. So this 300 channels is now turning into 800 channels. And that will be because Plex will offer at least 100 channels. Haystack News will offer at least 100 channels. Tubi is going to offer at least 100 channels. There may be a little more than 100 channels per these apps here, but that's what's happening. That's how the Google TV will most likely dominate or be a huge competitor in a free ad supported streaming community. As for the free channel rollout, I don't have it on my new device. I just recently got this device this week, so I don't have the update. I've definitely checked. So if you're curious on checking your device, you can click the settings button on your, your Google remote, then click on the settings wheel. Then come down here and come down to system, go to the right, go to the about section and go to the right again and then click on system update. And you can click on system update, it'll check here and then it'll let you know either you have an update and it'll say install now or, or it'll say your system is up to date, check for update which means your system is on the latest and greatest and there are no current updates for your device and you'll have to wait either a day or two or next week to receive the new update. As for pros with this device, I definitely notice it's definitely just as smooth and as fast as the Fire Stick. Um, the remote, I definitely like how smooth the remote is. I like the way the buttons feel. 
Um, I definitely like the way the layout is on Google TV as far as like a user experience. Um, I definitely am super used to the Fire Stick, but I can definitely get used to the Google TV layout. They do make it uh, easy and they have the Rotten Tomatoes reviews built right into the front. Uh, of the home screen so that's convenient. I do like the layout as far as like being able to see all the apps and the main apps that you definitely want to see. But as far as an in-depth view on the on 4K streaming box, I'll save that for another video. But so far I do like this streaming device. I like the Google TV experience. I do want to uh, address, uh, there was a comment that was made as far as Google TV or Android in general, as far as how to force close apps. I wanted to piggyback on this video right here. It fixes buffering on the Amazon Fire Stick. So this would fix buffering on the Google TV or 4K on streaming box if for any reason you had a streaming or buffering issue. So what you want to do is go over to the apps section at the very top. And then you want to come down here where it says search for apps and games. And then you want to search in here. Come down here and type in B A see as you type that in and you want to go ahead and hit search give it a moment to load you'll see where it says here background apps and process list you may be familiar with that because that app is also available on the fire tv but you can use it here on google tv to maintain the apps that are running in the background on your google tv or 4k on streaming box so let's open this app it's going to say install if you don't already have this app installed so click on install and let's go ahead and open this up so this is what this app looks like when it first loads up it comes up with this prompt here you can just click your back button to bypass that prompt and then it'll take you immediately to the apps that are running in the background so these apps it says here 11 apps are open in the background right now do we want to close these and yes the answer is yes you want to definitely maintain your device because you only got two gigs of ram and then you also want to maintain the speed that you're running your device at which is your internet speed so your internet speed will be shared amongst these apps that are running in the background and also it's taking up resources um, slowing your device down as well so we want to close these and definitely make sure your device is running at tip top speed at all times let's go ahead and do this one by one so we just hover over the first item which is voodoo fandango just click on it and then it immediately opens up the settings where we can force stop this app. So if we click on force stop, click on OK, it immediately force closes that app and then takes away the option to force stop, which means and confirms that this app is no longer running in the background. So click your back button. And then we want to do the same thing for the other 10 apps that are running in the background. So click on Prime Video, force stop. Click on Apple TV, go down the fourth stop, click OK, click the back button, Paramount Plus, fourth stop, click OK, click the back button, ESPN, fourth stop, click OK, click the back button. You see you're starting to get the hang of how to do this. Click on fourth stop, click OK, click the back. So you want to do the same for the rest of these apps and definitely guarantee your device is running at excellent speed. All right, so I'm closing the last app here, clicking on Tubi, click on force stop, click OK, click the back button, and now it says no apps open in the top left-hand corner. Click on refresh, that's confirm, and then it has confirmed no apps are open. And now we're all set, our device is running and back and ready to go. But once again, overall, I definitely like this device. There's definitely gonna be more videos on this device. As far as the user experience, I, I definitely love it. Once again, as far as the pro, I would say there's limited adverts on this. As far as the con, I would say it doesn't have anything different on it than the Amazon Fire Stick. Everything that's on this device, the Amazon Fire Stick can do. I definitely think there's some major pros and cons with these two, but I definitely like both. And at the same time, you can't beat the $20 price tag that this thing offers. So it's definitely a major competitor. But definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below of this 4K Walmart on streaming box. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.